on to the chat. No need to do it right now. Time after I warm up a nice light jog, get our heart rate up. Finally feels like fall here in Northern Virginia. Got my little sweater on. Go ahead and just into some jumping jacks. Always an option to take out that hop and just step side to side if you would like. I am that hop whenever you're ready. Keeping it going. From here, from a standing position, alternating hand toe taps, getting that leg up nice and high, trying to keep it straight, really feeling that stretch in your hamstring. Opposite toe tap. Let's do one more each side. And then from a standing position, nice hip opener over to a side lunge to bring that leg up and over. Coming nice and low in that lunge. And chest stays lifted. One more on each side. And then stay nice and wide and those toes. Toes are slightly pointed out, out by your side. Reach down, tap the opposite inside ankle. And then chest stays lifted. It's a set of medium to heavy weights today. And you can also use a band for additional resistance and our first set of moves. Staying nice and low in your squat, arms forward in a windmill motion. And chest stays lifted. And then reverse that direction, chin, chest stays nice and lifted. Slight hinge forward at the waist. Open and close the arms. Give yourself a nice big hug. And then coming on down to a runner's lunge, left leg forward, feeling releasing that right knee into the floor, pressing your left knee towards your toes, opening up your right hip, straighten your left leg, maybe point, flex your left toes. Press it forward one more time, opening up your right hip, straighten that left foot. And then just quickly switching sides, right foot comes forward, pressing that right knee in towards your toes, not letting it past your toes, opening up your left hip. Straighten your right leg, maybe point and flex your toes. Press it forward one more time. Open up that hip. And then straighten your right leg, maybe point, flex your right toes. Coming up to a standing position. Let me pause it real quick. If you're using that band, leave it on for the, all three of the moves in our first set. Just placing it above your thighs, grabbing your medium to heavy weight. You can use one or two. First that we have is my favorite monster walk. Nice low wide squat stance. And then walking up and back, whatever length you have. Not turning direction, so you're still facing the same direction as you started. You can do this without weight, with or without the band. You can use one weight at heart center between your palms. You can also place one weight on each shoulder. Stay nice and low in your squat. Knees are opening out towards your toes. Last 10. Keeping it going. Stay nice and low. All right, so with that weight, you can grab your second weight if you would like. We're gonna do a reverse lunge, floor tap, just the right leg to a left knee drive. So reverse lunge to a knee drive. Really using that resistance of the band if you have it on. I definitely underestimated the resistance of the band here. Keeping it going. Reverse lunge, right leg steps back. As you come to standing, drawing the left knee to the chest. Finally tap your hands down to the floor with or without the weight, with or without the band. Last 10, and we're gonna switch sides. Keep it going. Core stays nice and engaged. Shake it out. Set up for our other side. Reverse lunge the left leg to a right knee drive. Show me when you're ready. Going to the depth that works for you. With or without that band. With or without your weight. Gentle floor tap. 
As you come inside, reverse lunge. Weight to your shoulders if you're using them. With your right knee drive. If the band becomes distracting, you can always take it off. Keep it going. With or without weight. With or without your band. Left leg reverse lunge. Right knee drive. For three, two, and one. Using one, two, or no weight. Back to the top, monster walk. Nice wide, low squat stance. Walking up and back. Camera has begun. Join me when you're ready. Most important thing, keep your knees open so you're not trying to come to a knock knee position. Knees are tracking out over towards your toes. Really using that resistance of the band if you have it on. If you don't, just pretend. Keep it going. The more fatigued you get, the more likely you're gonna draw your knees together. Be mindful to keep those knees nice and separate. Going strong for seven. Last three, two, and one. With or without weight. I'll show the option without weights here. You can always readjust that stand. Coming to a reverse lunge, floor tap to a left knee drive. Really using your lower abs to drive that left knee up towards your chest. Gently tapping the floor down. As you gently tap your right knee to the floor, and that reverse lunge. Keep it going. Chin and chest stays lifted. Still going. Core nice and engaged as you draw that left knee up to your chest. Right leg reverse lunge for three. Last two. Coming on up, shaking it out, and staying up for the second side. Left leg reverse lunge, right knee drive. Join me when you're ready. With or without those weights. With or without that band. Keeping it going. This is the end of round two. We're gonna do everything three times. Just one more round of this. Push through. Chin and chest stays lifted. Gentle tap of the floor as you gently tap your left knee and that reverse lunge. I mean the same with the right knee drive. Really using your lower abs to draw that knee even higher. Using the resistance of your band. Last one. Option to use the weight. One, two, or none. Wide monster squat walk. Walking up and then back. Last time doing this. Timer has begun. Gaze is forward, chest is lifted. Keeping it going. Monster walk, duck walk, whatever you want to call it. Song of Halloween, I guess monster is appropriate. Keeping it going. Almost there. Chin and chest stays lifted. Moving with your breath. Slowing down as much as you need to. You can go as fast as you like. Knees are tracking out over your toes. Nice wide knees. For three. Last two. And one. With or without that weight, reverse lunge to a knee drive. Right leg reverse lunge, left knee drive. Last time doing this on this side. Reverse lunge with the right leg, left knee drive. Core stays nice and engaged. Trying to get super low in that lunge. Maybe you tap the floor. Maybe you gently tap your right knee to the mat as you come into that lunge, as you transition into a standing stance, really drawing that left knee up to your chest, going strong for five. Last three, two, and one. Shake it out. Set it up for the other side. You got a nice breather coming up after this. Reverse lunge. Do a knee drive. Left leg steps back in that lunge. Left foot steps back to meet the right. Right knee towards the chest. Keeping it going. 
maybe tapping the floor as you come into that lunge, stepping the left leg back, really engaging your core to draw your right knee up towards your chest. Maybe gently tapping your left knee towards the carpet or your mat, keeping it going. Last seven, core engaged, chest is lifted, gaze is forward. Last one, take that band off if you have it. You can throw it across the room, we won't use it the rest of class. Grab a sip of water, you still got 20 seconds. You will use your equipment for our next set of moves. Option to use one weight. Feet are hip width apart and parallel. Come to a squat, standing and twisting. One 80 degree hop, twisting alternating sides. So popping up from that squat and twisting side to side. Option to take out that hop and staying on your toes, soft bend your knees. If you're not adding that hop, just twisting as much as you can. 10 chest stays lifted. Last 10, very nice. Keep it going. I know bleak twist with your squat pop. Last one. Down, come on to your bum. Sitting down, we have tricep dips. So alternating opposite hand, opposite toe tap. So coming up, tricep dip, alternating opposite hand, opposite foot. Keeping it going. Left toe, right hand, tricep dip, left hand, right toe. Keeping it going. Really adding that tricep dip in between. Four stays engaged. Maybe you tap your bum towards the floor in your tricep. Maybe you just come close. Last three, two, and one. Flip it on over for our high plank. Wrists are under your shoulders. We're gonna hop the knees to the chest, back out, open to a right side plank, back down. Knees to the chest, back out, left side plank. So knees to the chest, hop in, hop out, and alternate to a side plank. You can, of course, take out that hop and just step the feet forward and back. Keeping it going. Moving with your breath here. Stepping or hopping. Last three, two, and one. Release it down. Grab your weight. Back to the top. Walk pop with 180 degree turns. And then chest stays lifting. Landing on your toes. Nice soft bend your knees as you land. You can take out that hop if you'd like. I'm just doing a more gentle twist. Chin and chest stays lifted. Keeping it going. Moving with your breath. Last seven. Going strong for five, three, two, and one. Set the weight to the side. Come on to your bum. Coming into our reverse tabletop. Maybe crab stance, lift your hips up. Tricep dip, opposite hand, opposite toe. Tricep dip, switch. Keep it going. Core stays nice and engaged. Still going. Still moving. Very nice. Looking so strong. I see so many strong tricep dips all across the screen. Beautiful hand toe tap. You can also tap elbow to knee. If the foot and the hand just don't work, do whatever you can. Last three, two, 
And one, finish up wherever you're at. Flip it on over to your high plank. Wrists are under your shoulders. Popping or stepping the feet in, back out. Opening up to a side plank. Alternating your side plank. Adding your step or hop in. Back to a high plank. In between. Core stays engaged. Keeping it going. Almost there. Last 10. Stepping or hopping. Open up that side plank. Last one. Gently come on up to standing, grabbing your weights. If you'd like, Possibly be done with just your body weight. Hip width, squat, a pop with an alternating 180 degree turn. Really think about twisting with your ribs, so less of your shoulders. Think about twisting your hips, twisting your ribs. Keep it going. Very nice. With or without that weight, with or without that hop. Last 10, keep it going, six, seven. Last three, two, and one. Finish up where you're at. Set your weight aside if you had one, come onto your bum. Reverse tabletop, lift your hips up. Tricep dip, so alternating opposite elbow, opposite knee, or opposite hand, opposite toe. Core stays nice and engaged. Keep it going. Almost there. Still moving. Doing what you can. Opposite hand, opposite toe, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Whatever you can do. I am a tricep dip in the queen for seven. Last five. Two. And one, when you're ready, flip it on over to our high plank, wrists are under your shoulders, see your hip width apart and parallel, pop or step in, alternating, opening up to your side plank, keeping it going, last time doing this, you got a nice breather coming up after this, push through. Remembering why you showed up today. Keeping it going. Almost there. Stepping or hopping the knees in. Back out to a plank. Open up to alternating side plank. Last three, two, and one. Release everything down. Grab a sip of water. Catch your breath. So I got 20 seconds, don't worry. You will use a weight for our next one. Place the weight to the inside of your left knee. Left knee is left foot. Left knee is bent, right leg long. Right hand grabs the weight, row up, hop switch, row up. So weight comes to the inside of your opposite knee. Knee is bent, lateral lunge hop with the row. Very nice. Hugging in that hop, taking out that hop. You can also step side to side. Looking so strong all across the screen. Last 10. Keep it going. Two. And one, grab that same weight, just one. Legs are zipped together, weight at heart center. We're gonna come down for three squat pulse, not the standing. Squat for three and back up. Nice soft bend in your knees. And then chest stays lifted, keeping it going. 
Almost there. Course these nice and engaged. Keep it going. Almost there. You're sticking your bum back and back and you're seeing a chair behind you. Last five. Three pulses. Back up to standing. Last one. Finish up where you're at. Grab your weight. Option to go a little bit lighter. Lighter in your weight. So we're tabletop. Knees are bent on 90 over your hips. We're going to extend our right leg long. Pull it back to your chest. Right arm reaches to the outside of your left leg. So single leg bicycle. Same arm reaches to the outside of your opposite knee. That left knee doesn't move. Left knee stays bent over your left hip. Just right leg extends and bends. Right arm reaches across your body. Nice oblique work here. Last 10. Lower back stays pressed into the mat. Core is engaged. Right leg extends, bends. Right arm reaches the outside of left leg. Set your weights down. Back to the top. Grabbing your single weight, place the inside of your bent leg, rowing up, and then switch in your lunge. With or without that hop, just gazing down towards the weight. Please don't drop the weight on your foot. Keep it going. Still moving. Lateral lunge hop. I in a single arm row. Keep it going. Long leg extends out from the side with the same arm that's rowing. Very nice. Last five. Keep it going. And one. Get that same weight. Feet are hip width apart and parallel. We're going to come to our squat. Three squat pulses up to standing. Join me when you're ready. Keeping a nice, soft micro bend in your knees as you come to standing. Don't lock out your knees. Weight is in your heels. Chin and chest is lifted. Squeeze your glutes as you come into that squat and as you come into standing stance. Keep it going. Chin and chest stays lifted. Core is engaged. Almost there. Last seven. Keep it going. For three, two, finish up wherever you're at. You can ask the bell. Set the weight down, option to grab. Lighter set of weights. Back to our reverse tabletop, knees bent at 90. Extend your left leg long. Come back to a bent left leg. Left arm reaches to the outside of your right leg and come back to center. So your right leg stays bent at 90. Right knee stays over your right hip. Just your left leg extends and then bends as it comes back to a bending stance, stretching your left arm out to the outside of your right leg. Shoulders stay hovering. Lower back press in from that core is engaged. Last three, two, and one. Coming back to standing. Grab a single weight. Feet are wider than your hips. Toes are slightly turned out, way between your hands. Three squat pulse, up to standing. Keeping that micro bend in your knees as you come to standing. Don't lock out your knees. Really pressing your bum back behind you. Weights in your heels. Chest is lifted. Coming down for three pulses, back to standing. Keeping it going. Maybe sitting lower than the time before. Almost there. Last three. Finish up wherever you're at. You knock to the bell. All right. Coming on down. Oh, I missed that one, you guys. One weight. Soft bend in your knees. Rowing up and then switching. I won't forget throughout the whole entire set. Don't you worry. Keeping it going. We'll come back down for our bicycle crunches after this. Keeping it moving. 
Lateral lunge hop out in the single arm row. You can also take out that hop and just step side to side. Weight is on the inside of your bent leg. Opposite leg extends nice and long. Last five. Keep it going. Two and one. Coming on down to your back. Option to grab a set of lighter weights. We have weighted bicycle crunches. If you don't have lighter weights, no worries. Tuck your chin, forward your hovering, and moving same leg, same arm. So shoulders are lifted, elbows are lifted off the floor, two inches of your elbows to your hips, so nothing glued together. As you extend your leg, extend your same arm, lower back press into the mat, pull your navel in towards your spine, keeping it going, nice fluid movement. Last seven, with or without weight, Keeping it going, moving the arms. And set the weights down. And grabbing some water. Nice breather here. You still got 20 seconds. We won't use equipment for our first two moves. We will be in a plank. High plank. So hands are under your shoulders. Hike up, placing your right hand to the inside of your left leg. Come back to high plank, lift your left leg back down. So right hand to left leg, left leg lifts and lowers. So piking up to a single arm down dog, tapping your opposite inside ankle, and then lifting the same left leg. Core stays engaged. Keeping it going. So I'll be done for my tabletop position. Reaching back and then kicking the leg out. Core stays engaged. You guessed it. We're gonna do the opposite side. So back to our high plank or tabletop. Wrists are under your shoulders. Left hand to the inside of your right leg. Come back to high plank or tabletop. Lift the right leg. So piking your hips up as you tap the inside of your opposite right leg. Just moving your left arm, right leg. Keeping it going. Moving from high plank or tabletop to down dog. Keeping it going. Still going. Last two, and one. Come to a kneeling stance, grabbing a weight in each shoulder. Knees wide and your hips, toes are together. From here, we just have kneeling good mornings. So think about hinging at the waist, maybe tapping your glutes towards your heels. You can also do it without a weight or just a single weight at heart center. Hinging forward at your waist. Knees stay nice and wide. Toes are touching. Maybe you tap your bum towards your heels. Maybe it just comes close. Very nice. Keeping it going for three. Last two. Go ahead and set your weight aside. Back to our high plank or tabletop. If you're in a tabletop, we're just reaching our right hand back to our left ankle and then extend your left leg back. If you're in the high plank, piking your hips up, coming to a single arm down dog by reaching your right hand towards the inside of your left leg and then extending your left leg up towards the ceiling. Working the core, working the base of your left feet, keeping it going. Last 10, just like this, and we're going to switch sides. High plank or tabletop. Right hand taps the inside of your left leg. Left leg lifts up. Keep it just where it's at. 
And we're gonna do the opposite side. Left hand, catch the inside of your right ankle. Barely extends back. If you're from a high plank, just hiking your hips up, coming to a one arm down dog by placing your left hand to the inside of your right leg. Come back to high plank and extend your right leg long up towards the ceiling. Working the base of your right seat on this side. Core stays nice and engaged. Keeping it going. Whether you're in a high plank or tabletop, wrists stay directly under your shoulders. Last two and one. Grab your weight. One or two. Knees are wider than your hips. Toes are touching. Weight at heart center or on your shoulders. And hinging forward for our good mornings or for us or good afternoons. Keeping it going. Maybe you gently tap your glutes towards your heels. Maybe you just come close. Hinging forward at the waist. Keeping it going. Chest stays lifted. Neck and neutral spine. Just hinging forward. Keeping it going. Last two and one. Finish up wherever you're at. Third and final round. Maybe try to high plank if you haven't yet. High plank. Hike it up. Right hand tap the inside of your left leg. Left leg lift. So just moving from a down dog to a high plank. Adding in that heel tap and leg extension. Be sure to come back to a full high plank. Hips are nice and flat, square off towards the mat. As you lift the leg up, right hand to the inside of your left ankle, left leg lift, 10 seconds to go. Then we're gonna switch sides. Core stays nice and engaged. Moving with your breath. Maybe release your knees down, stretch it out. Set up for other side. Maybe try and high plank if you haven't. Always not to do tabletop. Left hand taps the inside of the right leg. Right leg lifts and lowers. Really piking your hips up, pushing off with your right hand as you extend your left arm even further under your body towards the inside of your right ankle. Coming back to that high plank position. Four stays engaged. 10 seconds to go. You got this. Push through. Last two and one. Release everything down. Grab your weight. One or two. Nice wide knee stance. Toes are touching. Hinge forward and back up. Moving with your breath. Going to the depth that works for you. Maybe your glutes tap. Maybe they just come close. Maybe they're a few inches off. Moving here with your breath. Nice neutral spine, hinging at the waist. Moving your gaze as you hinge forward. Last 10, just like this. Keeping it going. Set the weight down, grab a sip of water, catch your breath, a little breather coming up. We have one more round of moves. No equipment needed for our first set. Come on to the back area of your place, whether it's your mat, just an area. See your hip with the part parallel. We're gonna come down to an inchworm Walk our hands out to a high plank, pop or step the hands back, and then 180 return, and then keeping it going. Steer up as much as you'd like, slow it down as much as you need to. Walking out to a high plank, stepping or hopping the feet, stepping or hopping with that 180 return, keeping it going.
Last ten. Going strong for five. Last three, two, and one. Grabbing your weight. You have to go a little bit lighter on this one. We're going to do arm pulls with butt kicks. You can do it with heavy weights if you like. You can do it lighter weights. You can also do it with no weights and just pulling the arms back. Really think about drawing your elbows towards one another, squeezing your shoulder blades back. Simultaneously, bringing your heel to your seat, trying to kick your butt as you pull the arms back. Maybe adding a hop if you'd like. Keep it going. Last three, two, and one. Coming on down to your back. Lean all the way back. Legs are up to diagonal. Right leg over your left. Elbows wide behind your head. And just crunching up. Lower back stays crossed to the mat. You can have your legs up towards the ceiling. You can have them low, barely touching the floor. At the diagonal, whatever works for you. The lower your legs are, the more challenging it is. The most important thing, keep your lower back pressed in towards the mat. If it lifts up, if you feel any kind of discomfort in your lower back, just lift your legs up. Right leg stays over left, crunching up, elbows wide behind your head, moving with your breath. Last one, bring your knees to your chest and rock yourself up to a standing position. Back to our inchworm walkout. Hop air stepping our hip feet to our hands. And then either 180 degree hop or step. Get it going. Keeping it moving, moving with your breath. Maybe stepping, maybe hopping your feet. Maybe alternating steps and hops. Keep it going. Really walking yourself at that high point. Last two. And one. With the rest out of those weights. Weights are always optional. Wide arm pulls. Drawing your elbows back. Adding a butt kick. You can also do it without weights and add a little help. Keep it going. Think about there being a, sh a pencil between your shoulder blades and you're trying to keep it there. Really squeezing your shoulder blades together. With or without that hop, really drawing the elbows back, really bringing your heel to your seat for butt kicks. With or without the hop, with or without the weights. For five, three, two, and one. Bring it on down, laying it onto your back. Legs up toward the ceiling at the diagonal. Left leg over right. Elbows wide behind the head. And crunching up. Little crunches going at your pace. You can have your legs low towards the floor. Barely hovering, but of course not touching. You can have them at the diagonal or up towards the ceiling. Most important thing is your lower back is stayed suctioned to the floor. There is no space between your lower back and that mat. Keeping it going, little crunches up, shoulders stay hovering for five. Last three, two, and one. Knees to the chest, rolling on up to a standing position when you're ready. Come into the back of your space. Third and final round. Walk it out to an inchworm, coming to our high plank. Stepping or hopping the feet. Turning around and doing it all over again. Nice 180 degree hop. Maybe freezing for a second after your hop. Recentering yourself. Keeping it going. Stopping or hopping. Walking out to a nice high plank. 
looking so good all across the screen. I see a lot of hops. Three. Finish up wherever you're at. And then coming center with or without those weights. Really pulling the arms back, drawing your heels to your feet, kicking your butt, and really drawing your elbows back. Imagine someone behind you, maybe. You're trying not to knock your back. Not sure why that would happen. Hopefully it doesn't. Just in case, we're all prepared. Really drawing your elbows back. Elbows stay lifted, keeping it going. Kicking your heel to your seat. Last 10. If you add that half, if you haven't already, really challenging yourself. Keep it going. Last two, one, Woo. All right, at your own pace. Come on down to your area. Lean on to your back. Pull your chin to your chest. Shoulders are hovering. Right leg over left, elbows wide behind the head. Curl up. And after every curl, we're gonna switch. So right over left, left over right. Keeping it going. Legs up to the ceiling. Legs go at the diagonal. Legs low in the hover. Really working those lower abs. Core engage. Lower back press into the mat. Drawing your spine in towards the mat by drawing your navel in towards your spine. Last three, two, and one. Draw your knees to your chest. Maybe rocking side to side. Nice lower back release. Just going in here with your breath. And then grabbing opposite elbows under your shins. Maybe rolling yourself forwards and backwards a few times. Nice the final stretch. Coming up to a seated position when you can. Still from a seated position. Extend your right leg long. Bring your left foot into the inside of your right leg. Right arm to the inside of your right leg. Left arm reaches up overhead. Chin and chest is lifted. You can point the right toes. And then bring your right arm down, nose to knee, heart to thigh. Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. You don't want any cramps. Slowly rolling up on your next exhale and switching sides. Long left leg, right leg to the inside of your left. Left arm to the inside of your left leg. Right arm reaches up overhead. Chin and chest is lifted. Feeling that stretch all down the right side of your body. With your next exhale, bring your right arm down. Nose to knee, heart to thigh. You can point your left toes if you'd like. Rolling up on your next exhale. Place the soles of your feet together. Maybe wiggling your knees up and down. Nice butterfly for a nice hip release. Extend your legs long out in front of you. Arms up overhead and with a flat back coming forward. Line over, bringing your nose towards your knees. Feeling that nice stretch all along the back side of your body. Gently rolling up on your next exhale. Coming to a standing position very slowly at your own pace. Feet are wider than your hips. Coming to a nice, big, deep breath. One more for good luck. Awesome. Thank you everyone for joining me today. Again, this is Weekend Warrior. My name is Amanda. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure just to add your name and your site in the chat. Thank you so much. Hope to see you all next week. Have a great weekend. Thank you, everybody. Bye, Teresa. Bye, Brent. Bye, Linda. Bye, Megan.